Oil halted its slide near $48 slash barrel as industry data showed US crude stockpiles declined again, further trimming an inventory surplus. Futures rose 0.3% in New York after slipping a second session Tuesday. Inventories dropped by 9.2 million barrel last week, the American Petroleum Institute was said to report. If that is replicated in government data Wednesday, it would be the largest drop in almost a year. Output from Libya is rebounding as its biggest field boosts production and a port reopens. Oil in New York has fluctuated this month in the narrowest range since August 2003 as investors weigh rising global supply against output cuts by OPEC and its allies. OPEC won't clear the global glut anytime soon since any increase in price continues to bolster rival production from U.S. shale, according to the International Energy Agency. The search for price cues will now turn to an upcoming update concerning U.S. oil stockpiles, and initial signs are encouraging after the American Petroleum Institute data. More bullish catalysts will be needed if the oil market is to extricate itself from no man's land. West Texas Intermediate for September delivery was at $47.70 slash barrel on the New York Mercantile Exchange, up 14 cents, in London. Total volume traded was about 10% below the 100-a-day average. Prices lost 4 cents to $47.55 on Tuesday. Brent for October settlement gained 21 cents, or 0.4% to $51.01 slash barrel on the Europe exchange. Prices climbed $0.7 to $50.80 on Tuesday. Brent traded at a premium at $3.17 to October West Texas Intermediate. U.S. gasoline stockpiles rose by 301,000 barrel last week, the APR reported, according to people familiar with the data. Crude inventories probably fell by 3.38 million barrel, according to the median estimate in a Bloomberg survey before an Energy Information Administration report Wednesday. Crude production from Libya's Sharara field increased to 230,000 barrels of oil per day Tuesday from 200,000 on Sunday. Ecuador will limit output at its current level of 541,000 barrels of oil per day to avoid undermining the OPEC-led cuts. Ecuadorian oil minister Carlos Perez said. China's annual oil demand will peak at 690 million tons by 2030, or about 12% of the global total, according to China National Petroleum Corporation, 